Riley and Lee arranged several promotional gimmicks to sell books. And one of these was a playlet that Ruth Thompson wrote uh, in 1925 called A Day in Oz or Scraps from Oz. <laughs> the plot about a party given by Dorothy was rewritten every year to promote the new Oz book from Riley and Lee. The publisher distributed this play to bookstores and department stores, which found school children to act in it. They rented costumes, and music was also provided to be performed with the play. This year, we are graced with the talents of Bill Eubank, who has provided marionettes and puppets in the form of many Oz characters. He has entertained this convention several times before with those puppets. In 1988, when we were at the Holiday Inn O'Hare, he displayed his puppet, puppets and stereozicons, and many of you saw those at that time as well. This year, we have a talented cast to present A Day in Oz, along with Bill's puppets. We have one cast change. Uh, John Fricke, who could not attend, was going to be playing the Tin Woodman, and in his place is Rob Roy McVeigh. Now, in the play, in addition to the characters you see before you, there is a whole host of Oz folk. And there you are. <laughs> At several points during the play, there are outbursts from the Oz folks. And we have cue cards to remind you of your lines as we go along. <laughs> so without further ado, a day in Oz. <laughs>
<laughs> That's nice. Now, you may go into the banquet hall, but show your wonderful book again before you go. <laughs> It's all right, I'll be right off. myself at court. I cannot imagine anyone calling a fierce, sharp, large, hungry tiger handy mandy. Oh, that is silly. No one is going to call you handy mandy. Now take the book and go in to guard all of that luscious food. In fact, so that there is no problem, I will go in with you and get you set. I didn't want to tell the tiger because it is a secret, but our great ruler, the Princess Ozma, wanted me to make sure the hungry tiger was at the party when she returns from the south of Oz. Please don't say anything, but I think she may have a surprise for him. A surprise for him? A surprise for him? Oh, what fun! I must not tell, but the plans for this party are going well. Did you ever hear of Oz? Now, did you ever, ever, ever? It's 67,000 leagues beyond the land of never. Surrounded by a deadly desert, but when once you're there, it's better than a circus or a zoo or anywhere. Because animals in Oz can talk, and so, of course, they do. No roars or growls, meows or howls. They just say, how are you? And all the days in Oz are fine, and most of them are sunny. And all the fairy folk in Oz are queer and dear and funny. <laughs> there are knights and kings and giants bold and clever sorceresses who turn plain little girls to queens in gorgeous gowns and dresses. There's the scarecrow and the patchwork girl and jolly old TikTok who's full of wheels and works and wands just like the kitchen clock. And there's a pumpkin-headed man, ridiculous but jolly. His body's carved of wood, his head's a hollow pumpkin. Golly! 
And when it goes to seed, he picks a new head. And at night, he lights it like a lantern, for that makes him feel so bright. And there's a tender tin woodman, tin woodman made of tin, so sympathetic that he weeps and rusts his jaws and chin. The queen's a little fairy, just about as big as you. Yes, Ozma is the fairy queen and rules the whole Oz crew. Helped out by little Dorothy, and Dorothy, you know, was blown to Oz from Kansas in a cyclone long ago. But the Oz folk found this little girl so gentle, sweet, and pretty, they asked her to live always in their lovely Emerald City. And so she does, and has adventures every single day. For in a magic country, things are awfully queer and gay. And since you can, can't all go to Oz, we brought a very few of the dear, delightful Oz folks here to talk and sing to you. Back into the rag bag. Whee! <laughs> Scraps. 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 Has anyone seen the patchwork girl? Scraps. Scraps, where are you, Scraps? Oh, Scraps. Hey, Scraps. Hey, hey, hey. Why do you say hey? Because I'm full of it. Hey, hey, hey. Cotton, cotton, cotton. <laughs> why, why do you say cotton? Because I'm full of it. <laughs> if you say hey, why shouldn't I say cotton? That's different. Cotton doesn't make sense. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I'm not sensible. No, I'm afraid you're crazy. Well, I can't help it. I was cut from a crazy quilt, you know, made by a wizard's wife, magically brought to life, stuffed with cotton and with fun. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm made of old glad rags. Just see how glad a patchwork girl can be. I'm glad because there isn't a cross patch on me. Yes, yes, we know all that. But what were you doing in the rag bag? I've been hunting for you everywhere. Well, I was hunting some scraps for some new patches to wear to Dorothy's party tonight. How do you like them? Oh, that's funny. Scraps was hunting scraps, and I was hunting scraps, and we both found scraps in the scrap bag. Well, don't let's scrap about it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you find scraps in the scrap bag? Stop, stop. You're making my head spin. Now I've forgotten everything I wanted to tell you. You ought to be able to remember anything with those magic rings of yours. How are they working lately? Wait a moment till I see. I remember Ozma's coming back to the castle today, in time for Dorothy's party. And now we'll hear all the news from the South. Oh, she's been gone so long, she ought to bring a lot of news. Wonder if she discovered any new celebrities. Does Dorothy know about this? Yes, Dorothy's having a party for her tonight, and we're all invited. Oh, hello. Here comes Dorothy now. And, and the Tin Woodman. Oh, Scraps, the wizard says Ozma will be home any minute, and the party's almost ready. There'll be black cake, and white cake, and turkey, and lemonade, peach pie, and lady fingers, and green Oz cream. Oh, what a treat. But I can't eat. Have you forgotten I'm stuck with cotton? <laughs> how, do, how do I look? I just had myself polished for the party. Oh, and I just had myself restuffed. Stuffed before the party? Why didn't you wait? Well, because I don't use that kind of stuffing. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Why, here comes Ozma now. Look! Oh, my! She's early, and I haven't finished putting up the decorations for the party. I've got to get back to work. Oh, it's fun to be back. How are you all? Oh, I'm so happy I to see you. Oh, I could sing. Well, why don't you? Well, I will sing. But what will you sing about? Oh, myself. I always sing about myself when I'm happy. Oh, then it will be a funny song. Oh, am I funny? Audience, don't you think he is? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I'd rather make people laugh than cry. Crying never helps anyone. Once off in Oz, when little pigs were young, upon a pole I hung, just dangled there and swung. My wobbly feet and wondered what to do. I couldn't eat the corn, I didn't like the view. Then in a cycle, little Dorothy was born to us, and she set this old scarecrow free. Down from my top hole. 
but the shears looked so sharp, and I was too cowardly. Oh, oh, I wish I had a big boy, Bob. But I did bring my book for the party. There, there, don't cry. I like you the way you are. Without your mane, you'd lose your mic. Cheer up, old dear. You look all right. Shh, don't scare him. Are you feeling as cowardly as ever, old fellow? There really isn't anything to be afraid of. I know. I know. I'm just cowardly. Well, maybe if I'd sing, he'd feel better. <sighs> You're just full of songs today, aren't you? Yes, I learned to sing from the birds. Yeah, the crows? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know there's a song about the cowardly lion? Is there a song about the Cowardly Lion? I didn't know the Cowardly Lion could sing. Oh, he can roar a little, can't you, old fellow? Will you sing your song for us today? Oh, no, you sing it. close to the fire. And what do you suppose happened? Why, his corn ears popped. Imagine. Oh, how perfectly preposterous. Preposterous. <laughs> and is the poor creature deaf? No, he just went into the cornfield and picked another ear. Oh, I wish I could see a vegetable man. You will, for he's coming to the Emerald City tomorrow. But there's better news than that. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> the new Oz book's out. And here it is. Am I in it? Oh, does it say anything about me? Am I in it? Are, are we in it? We're all in it. I'm in it. You're in it. He's in it. She's in it. What? <laughs> Where's that book? Let me look. Let me see. No, no. We'll read it after the party. Ozma, my dearest friend, it is so nice to have you home again. Welcome back. I'm so sorry I could not have been here to greet you, but I did have to oversee the celebration in your honor. Dorothy, my dear, it is good to see you also. I see you have kept things in order while I was away. Did you remember the surprise for our friend the Hungry Tiger? Of course. Here it is. Oh, good. It is the new book by Miss Thompson, The Hungry Tiger of Oz. Oh, he's going to be so pleased. I'm in it. You're in it. She's in it. He's in it. Scraps, will you do me?
me a favor. Oh, yes, Your Majesty, anything. Will you please remove your scrap bag so we'll have more room? And you may help her, Scarecrow. Oh, well, we'll do it at once, Ozma. Come on, Scarecrow, at once. Let's go. Work, 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 work. They are such a new. <laughs> they are such dear, sweet friends. Yes, I agree. But look who's coming. I do believe it is our wonderful wizard. Your Majesty, little Dorothy, I finally got away from my workshop and I remembered to bring the book you asked for, Ozaplaning with the Wizard of Oz. Now, I must ask a favor of you young ladies. Ask and it shall be granted. Because the Scarecrow and the Tin Man's books were written by the first historian of Oz, L. Frank Baum, I wish to include them on my ticket to the party. Well, I can see no reason why not, but let's carry it further. The book that Scraps has is not really an Oz book. It is merely Scraps that she has accumulated over the years. But Dorothy, she, she's not featured in my book. That doesn't really matter. I only said to bring a new book as a ticket to the party so that we could show the boys and girls the newest books of Oz. You should know by this time that everyone is always welcome to any party being given in this magic country of Oz. Oh, so that's it. I do admit, Dorothy, I was a little worried about